Hi, welcome to Informatica's Support TV. Today we're going to be talking about Natiza's could not serialize error, which we often see in the PG log when working with Power Exchange for Natiza. By default, Natiza uses the serializable isolation level, which is a form of optimistic concurrency control that doesn't use locks. Natiza has been designed for query performance, and in most cases, Natiza users are only given read-only access to run these select statements, or at least we don't expect them to be logging in to change data. For the ETL user, if you try and update the same table with two different transactions, Natiza assumes that the cost of rolling back one of those transactions is actually lower than blocking the select statement. So that's why we're getting this could not serialize error. Uh, just to go over a couple scenarios from, from Natiza, um, I've got this table here with three records, and we'll start with, with scenario one just below here. So I do select, and then I insert the, uh, the new value into, into that table. From a second NZ SQL session, or Power Center session, I'm going to insert another row, and then I'm going to do a select. So one of the ideas I was able um, that I read about on uh, online about the serializable isolation level is that you should be able to run, um, you know, scenario. Sorry, you should be able to do transaction one and transaction two in any order and still get the same result. So you can see here that I'm I'm selecting these three records in, in the first uh, connection, and then in the second one I'm inserting and then I'm selecting. So what I what would I expect to see? Um, if I had run these separately, then I would get different results. So that's the reason we're getting this could not serialize uh, transaction aborted error down below. In the upper right, I've got um, this one is, is maybe more obvious because you're just you're doing two updates, which we already know um, is going to cause this error. What's important to to notice here is that we're not actually updating the same record. So Natiza doesn't even care about the data in this case. It's just blocking that second update from occurring. Uh, because it, it does a comparison with um, the data before the update started. So uh, on the lower right here, I've actually com combined both of them. So you could have one from scenario one and one from scenario two, and uh, most likely you'd hit the same error. From the Power Center side, if you're using Power Exchange for Natiza and using the, uh, the bulk writer, we have an option called ignore key constraints, which you can disable or enable. Uh, depending on if you want Power Center to do a duplicate check or not. So this duplicate check can actually trigger this serialization error also because what we do is we do a select from the uh, the target table and what we're looking for is the, the minimum or maximum row ID. So that's how we decide, uh, you know, out of a bunch of duplicate uh, rows, which one are we going to insert, the first and the last. So that insert plus select uh, from the target is actually what's causing this uh, serialization, serialization uh, could not serialize error to occur if you're also doing another update on that table or another insert on that table. So just to kind of summarize some of the issues that we've seen, um, some support cases. So if you've got two targets updated the same table, we went over that. If you are reading from a lookup transformation and then inserting into that in, into that same table, and then also doing an update into that same table, this will also cause that problem. Um, or if you've got two different sources and you are inserting data into the same table, this is actually no big deal. But if one of those sources, sorry, if one of those targets has the ignore key constraints box unchecked, it's going to do a duplicate check, and that duplicate check will will cause a problem in this scenario. Um, can we change the default? Yes, you can, but we don't advise it. So Natiza actually supports two different isolation levels, serializable, which is default, and repeatable read. So one of the drawbacks of repeatable read is that it allows phantom reads. So you could actually uh, run a query more than once and get a different result, possibly, if somebody else had changed the data. So serializable protects against that. If you if you're curious about um, using repeatable read, there are some advantages. So one of the advantages is that if you're updating the same table, 
um, it does allow it as long as you're not updating the same data. So you, you can get a little more flexibility with repeatable read. Uh, give Natiza a call and, and you know get their feedback. Uh, you know we're not we're not advising this. It's just um, some have used this with some success. So where can I go for more information? Uh, the Natiza database users guide. That's uh, where I started out with this information about the serializable isolation level. And Microsoft TechNet has some good information. There are some Google keywords you can type in. Also, Postgres documentation is where I got that table in the last slide. And of course, the Informatica uh, Power Exchange for Natiza User Guide. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching this video. We'd love to hear back from you. If you want to send us an email, you can reach us at supportvideos at informatica.com, or you can reach out to us on Twitter as well at InfoSupport.